Hey, what's going on, fellow YouTubers? Super Milwaukee boy, back in the kitchen again. A brand new kitchen. And I want to take this time to uh, tell you guys happy 2020. I hope everything's been working out in your guys' favor as of 2020 this year. Uh, glad to be back. And I got another tasteful beverage item just for you guys that I'm going to review. And this year doing something new I wanted to not so spend so much time on the uh, nutrition facts I wanted to kind of make them short and straight to the point and give you just the most important facts which are the calories the carbs the sodium and the proteins and whatever I'm reviewing so I'm gonna cut them short guys I promise so without further ado this review I'm doing today Another international delight iced coffee beverage and it is the last one I believe it is the Mocha International Delight iced coffee and I almost dropped it there. I'm stoked because I like the caramel in my review was good. The caramel was good and just as delicious as the French vanilla. I believe the French vanilla one was a step ahead of the caramel one in my opinion. I would have to go back to my video reviews. I've been checking out a couple of them I've been doing over the years. And I would like to go back to those and see my reviews on those. And I think this one also, much like the vanilla, stands a chance in that rating scale. Now for the nutrition facts, like I, I promised guys, <clears throat> I'm just going to do calories, sodium, carbs, and proteins. Just the main stuff that you need to know. I'm not going to go through the whole list like I usually have done in the past. So here we go. Calories in this is 180. Sodium 120 milligrams. Total carbohydrates 32 grams. And protein is 5 grams. So that's pretty good stuff packed into this drink. As, as much good stuff as any ordinary International Delight ice, ice Coffee beverage. I got my clear glass today, guys. And before we get into this, let me just go over my rating scale. It's been a long time, guys. One, meaning the product was awful. Just downright terrible. Two, meaning the product was okay. Three, meaning the product was good, but they can always step it up and improve the product. Four, meaning the product was great, and that's great enough. Five, meaning the product was fantastic. I wouldn't change anything about it, guys. So here we go. International Delight Mocha Iced Coffee. I believe the box for this guy was so slippery because it was in the fridge. And the fridge lately has been freezing everything and making everything really cold. But as you can see, got my Mocha International Delight iced coffee. Let's give this sucker a try. That's good stuff. That is real delicious. Real delicious stuff. Wow. But, just like my other International Delight iced coffee beverage reviews, let me go add a few ice cubes to this, guys. I'll be back. I am back. Got some ice in there rattling around. And uh, without further ado, let's try this with some ice. Hmm. Definitely very delicious with the ice. For me, I'm kind of 50-50 on this one. It's delicious. And with the ice, it's still delicious. So without further ado on my rating skill, International Delight Mocha Ice Coffee is a four for great. I don't know 
how you can make it any better. I mean, you could make it a little more chocolatey, but it's great. I there's not much else you can I can say about that, guys. You know, mocha iced coffee from International Delight is great, and that's great enough. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another In My Kitchen food review. This is Milwaukee Boy, and I'm out, guys.